guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i apply false eyelashes and i'm using faux mink lashes so if you want to see how i apply my lashes then just keep on watching okay so i have two pairs of lashes that i want to show you and these are the two that i picked up these are from the kiss lash couture faux mink collection and you'll see how they just made my look really pop i really really love how they look like real lash hair super soft and fluffy instant confidence in a little box i had a hard time choosing because i love them all but i put a link in my description box so you guys can take a look at all four kissed lashes brands and decide which pair will boost your confidence so the pair that i'm going to be wearing today are actually called gala this is what they look like they're super super full and long so i'm going to show you guys what i do and how i put on my lashes so that they are more comfortable to wear so I'm just going to take the lashes out of the package and it's just the lash. It doesn't come with anything else. The glue is sold separately. So I'm trying to get super close to show you guys that these lashes have a knot free technology to them. So it's basically where you can't see the tiny little pieces of each knot of lash there. It's just smooth. And you want to be really careful when you take the lashes out of the container. A trick that I've been doing for a while now is... Just taking the little lash band and I'll lightly bend it like this and then I'll take my thumb and I'll just slowly pull away so that I don't mess up the lash. And it'll start to come off on one side as you can see there. Then I'll start to pull the lash off it's very slowly until it's all the way off and it's perfect. And it hasn't been ruined from all the tugging because I've had lashes that were so perfect and pretty. But then when I went to pull them off of the package, they like fell apart and I was so sad. So just be really careful when you're taking the lashes off the package. So now that I have the lash out of the package, I'm just going to take a pair of tweezers and hold the lash in the center. Make sure your tweezers are clean and that they don't have any glue residue on them. Otherwise... They'll stick to your lashes as you're trying to put them on and it'll make it difficult and it'll just pull it off. So I have my lashes on my tweezers and I have my little mirror. And the first thing you want to do is measure the lash to your eye. As you can see on these, there's that tiny little piece poking through and we don't want that there because that's going to poke you all night long. So just take some scissors and you want to cut that off. But you really want to be careful not to cut too far in because then you'll mess up your lash. So just with some scissors, I'm going to cut that off just like that. So now that little tiny pokey corner is gone. So now I'm just going to measure these to my eyeball. And all I want to do is place them on top of my lashes, which I already have mascara on. And I just want to see how they fit. I think they fit pretty good. I don't feel like I have to cut off any of these lashes. And how you'll know if you have to cut some of the lash off is if you line up the outer corner of the lash to right about the end of the eye. And it's too far in on the inner corner and it feels like it's going to poke and touch the nose here. That's how you know you need to cut some off the outer edge. That way when you put them on, everything lines up nicely and you won't feel like you have a caterpillar on your eye. So once the lash is measured to your eye, all you want to do is put glue on the lashes and then pop it on. I like to use a latex free glue because I personally feel like the latex free glue lasts longer and it's more water resistant. This is how I like to apply the glue and I just put a thin layer on the underside and then another thin layer right on the top. I don't like to get any of the glue on the top of the lash because then it'll get clumpy and it won't look nice and smooth. And if you want to make the lash more comfortable to wear, what you can do while you're waiting for the glue to kind of get tacky is you can start just trying to bend that lash a little bit to relax the band and loosen it up so it's not so stiff on your eye. Now as you can see the glue, it was white when I first put it on and it's starting to turn blue. That's how I know it's ready to go on. Depending on whatever lash glue you use, once it starts to change color is how you know you're ready to put the lash on. So I'm going to look down into my mirror, lift my eyebrow, take my lash with my tweezers and place it right on top. 
of my lashes. And I push it onto the center first, just like that. And then I secure the outer corner, push it right there. And then I go into the inner corner, pull a little, and push it onto the inner corner. You just want to continue pushing it until you feel like it's nice and secure. Try not to squeeze your eye too much at this point because you want to let that lash really dry down. Instant volume. Now just let it dry. It'd be really nice to have one of those little handheld mirrors right now. <laughs> or handheld fans. Automatic fan. <laughs> Okay, so this lash is on now, and I did forget to mention that another good reason to have mascara on first is because you don't really want to put mascara on mink lashes. Otherwise, you're going to destroy them, and they're going to look just dirty, and the little tiny hairs that are so beautifully fluffed out are going to stick together and not look fluffed out anymore. <laughs> And the last step that I like to do is either take a black or a brown eyeliner and then tightline my upper waterline. And I'm going to tightline right here. This just makes sure that you can't see your waterline and you can't see your natural lash line underneath these lashes. So I hope you all found this video informative and maybe learned something new today. Let me know if you plan on wearing any of these lashes to your next holiday event. I'm going to personally wear these lashes to Thanksgiving. I'm going to have a fully beat face, my hair done, but I'm going to be in PJs with my plate of food. So I might get some really good pictures. <laughs> so if you plan on wearing any of these lashes and you want to see your looks, go ahead and hashtag kiss lashes or kiss confident on instagram twitter facebook so that we can see and yeah i will see you all in my next video bye